this is Ackley Attack 4427 here with a brand new thoughts video for all of you guys and yeah, looks like uh, if you uh, may recall, I has of uh, now uh, looks like uh, May has of course officially begun as we uh, speak. So, so yeah, act of course. So uh, while the uh, warm weather's finally kicking in, summer will uh, soon be on its way uh, very soon. To which, yeah, quite frankly, from of course uh, where I live, we have been getting uh, spring for a uh, short amount of time, but for a uh, sure. I mean, for starters, uh, the uh, warm weather starts to kick in, and then the cold weather suddenly comes back. Yeah, pretty much our, uh, pretty much our, uh, weather, uh, stuff, and let alone Mother Nature around, uh, where I, uh, currently live is completely bonkers, uh, for sure, so. But regardless, of course, uh, all the hag, uh, looks like, uh, that being the case, well, I guess, uh, for this being the, uh, month of May, that actually does mean one thing and one thing only. That's right, in terms of movies, uh, as of now, looks like we're actually, uh, gonna get ourselves, uh, an early dose of some really, really nice, uh, summer blockbusters that we're gonna be, uh, getting up for, of course, uh, this, uh, season for, uh, sure, and, boy, it looks like we are gonna get the hang of early, uh, dose of, for, uh, sure, because this movie I'm talking about, uh, here today is, of course, a really good way to, of course, uh, kickstart, uh, of course, uh, all that, for, uh, sure, so, so yeah, I think it's uh, pretty much what I can say, uh, of course, on uh, that front, so. So yeah, I guess seeing how well uh, with, of course, uh, the last uh, Thoughts video I did, where, of course, we uh, jumped back over uh, to uh, DC when I talked about the, uh, pretty much, uh, part one of the uh, Justice League and Ruby crossover uh, movie, which, yeah, by the way, definitely go watch that. It's definitely well worth uh, checking out, and I'm really excited to see what part two will uh, have to uh, offer, but... But yeah, I guess ever since then, I think it's about time that we uh, dive ourselves back into Marvel uh, as of uh, now, and and yeah, pretty much uh, talk about the uh, latest uh, installment, and of course the Marvel Cinematic Universe that uh, that just came out as we uh, speak. So, so yeah, seems like we're actually jumping from DC to Marvel uh, very uh, quickly as we speak. So, so yeah, double the superhero movies uh, all rolled up in one pack. For sure, man, it's actually uh, really quite interesting uh, when you uh, think about it. For sure, so so yeah, yeah, and I'm guessing of how uh, I have uh, pretty much uh, talked about my previous venture uh, into the uh, MCU with uh, with of course uh, Ant Man the Wasp Quantum um, I think it's about time that uh, we uh, dive uh, back into, of course, uh, the MCU, with, of course, uh, the latest installment that had just dropped uh, as we uh, speak, so. And, quite frankly enough, it is, of course, Sarah or Hound, of course, uh, our uh, superhero team, not from, of course, uh, planet Earth, but, but pretty much uh, the entire galaxy as we uh, speak, so. So, yeah, I guess you can pretty much uh, see where I'm uh, getting at as we uh, speak, but in case you don't, I'm about to uh, talk about the latest movie in the MCU, which just came out not too long ago, that I have the privilege to go see, and, well, looks like we're about to, uh, pretty much, uh, team up with, of course, uh, this superhero, uh, team from the, uh, galaxy, but for the very last time, uh, for the, uh, time being, uh, and that being, of course, with the, uh, latest movie that I, uh, that I just got the, uh, privilege to, uh, go see as of, uh, recently, which is not other than Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, so... So, yeah, I guess it's pretty much uh, what I'm talking about here to a day. It is, of course, not just the latest installment in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but it is also the long-awaited third installment in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, so... So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm talking about guy here today, and well, I guess you can pretty much see where I'm going at with this one, so. So yeah, that's pretty much what I can say on that. Alright. Alright, so uh before I can dive right into, of course, uh, this uh latest uh Pretty much uh, this uh, latest uh, installment as we speak. I think it's a. Uh, I think it's actually quite fitting that I should talk about. Well, my history with, of course, uh, the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy for a sure. So. So yeah, and quite frankly, uh, I think I never actually uh, read much of the uh, comics for sure, let alone read any of the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy comics uh, for a sure. 
But I do know is that uh, in terms of the uh, movies, uh, for sure, Guardians of the Galaxy is, of course, a uh, really good staple in terms of some really, really awesome movies in the MCU, for uh, sure. So, <clears throat> so yeah. And, of course, uh, my history with, of course, uh, the uh, front, uh, for sure, is actually uh, quite positive, for uh, sure. The first Guardians of the Galaxy, I actually really liked, uh, for uh, sure, uh, with, of course, some... Um, Brilliant comedy, really uh, clever uh, acting, uh, and some brilliant uh, casting uh, deci uh, decisions that they uh, made. And even, uh, of course, uh, pretty much uh, the amazing uh, visuals they uh, put into uh, all this uh, for a sure is uh, really, really well worth checking out. And I definitely love the uh, first film for what it is. So, so yeah, that's pretty much what I can say, uh, of course, uh, for the uh, first Guardians of the Galaxy uh, movie. So... So yeah, and of course the uh, second one, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, to be honest, I actually do like a whole lot uh, more uh, for uh, sure. Really does expand a whole lot uh, from uh, what I love well, with the uh, first film, and actually crank it up a notch uh, to, uh, to of course, uh, be something that I actually uh, really, really uh, do uh, admire uh, for uh, sure, so... So yeah, I guess it's pretty much what I can say for, of course, uh, the first two Guardians of the Galaxy uh, movies, and in terms of uh, the rest of uh, their time in their MCU, I actually really do love uh, how well they've actually uh, interacted with, of course, the other Marvel characters that we actually got, like, of course, uh, Iron Man, the Hulk, Thor, Captain America, Spider-Man, and uh, that's to uh, name me a few uh, for uh, sure, so... So yeah, pretty much uh, if anything, the first two Guardians of the Galaxy uh, films, let alone uh, pretty much uh, their timing, of course, uh, the MCU is actually very positive to me. And even some other aspects that I actually really do admire, uh, like of course, uh, pretty much uh, the uh, two uh, Disney attractions, uh, whether it be of course uh, Mission Breakout at Disney's California Adventure, or of course uh, Cosmic Rewind at Epcot down in uh, Disney World in Florida. Yeah, and even the uh, holiday special uh, on uh, Disney Plus, uh, I actually really do admire, uh, of course, uh, on what the Guardians of the Galaxy will uh, have to uh, offer for uh, sure. It is actually uh, really, really uh, incredibly well done. And and don't worry about a thing. If you do want uh, pretty much uh, my full-on thoughts on, of course, uh, the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, holiday special, definitely go watch uh, my uh, thoughts video on that. It, it'll give you a whole lot more... Uh, detail of course uh, all that so so yeah and I guess I knew right, uh, right away I was really excited to see on uh, what the uh, what the uh, third uh, film will uh, have to uh, offer I mean yeah this movie has actually uh, been uh, in the works for a long time now so so yeah and of course there has been multiple uh, setbacks that you uh, may or may not have heard of uh, like of course quite obvious uh, production had to be uh, Pushed back because of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, and let's not forget to mention, uh, way before uh, the movie finally got underway, uh, James Gunn actually got fired for some uh, really old uh, post that he put up on his Twitter account, uh, for uh, sure. But then later, uh, later on, uh, he actually got uh, reinstated uh, to uh, actually work on this film, uh, probably since after uh, he uh, finished up... Uh, Pretty much uh, work with uh, DC on, of course, uh, the recent Suicide Squad movie. Which is actually good timing uh, for uh, sure, so. So, yeah. I guess I'd give it to all that. Uh, regardless of, of course, the uh, six-year-long gap uh, between both uh, this film and, of course, uh, Volume 2 that uh, came beforehand. I'm still quite curious to see on what the uh, third uh, film will actually have to uh, offer for uh, sure. And it actually was... Uh, build up to, of course, uh, be the uh, final time we'll actually uh, see these uh, characters that we all know and love for uh, sure, so. But yeah, in terms of uh, their time in the MCU for uh, sure, because, well, plenty of other characters in the MCU have uh, already ran their courses uh, for uh, sure, so. So there you go, so. But yeah, regardless on that, I actually uh, was quite curious to see on uh, how this one will uh, do, and... Well, of course, I uh, literally got back from, of course, uh, seeing it not too long ago, and, well, I guess a lot of you guys may be wondering, what do I think of this uh, movie now that I uh, got the uh, chance to uh, see it? Well, I'm not gonna lie. I actually think it's pretty good. I mean, okay, it's uh, not really a great movie, uh, by all means, uh, on its own, 
But for uh, what it is, I actually do think it's actually a really good finale uh, to the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy that uh, we are uh, hoping to uh, get, and there we go. So, so yeah, not really by all means a great film by all means, but to me, I actually do uh, like it on, on the less uh, for uh, sure. It's definitely well worth the uh, wait, regardless of, of course, what I have to say, and yeah, actually did resulting, of course, well, a pretty good movie overall, so... So yeah, that's pretty much what I can say on that. All right, all right. So uh, so yeah. Now that I've actually got the uh, short version out of the way, I think I might as well go ahead and talk about everything that I need to talk about for, of course, this movie. So for starters, is of course the story for, of course, this movie, and I'll give a credit the uh, pretty much story wise. I actually do think it's actually uh, very straightforward from, of course, uh, what I'm actually seeing, and actually does have some uh, really, really good ideas from, of course, uh, what I've actually uh, seen uh, by far. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's actually far different from, of course, uh, any of us were expecting, uh, hands down, but I really do admire some of the uh, nice and unique uh, ideas that they uh, want to uh, throw into, of course, this one, which, yeah, actually does make it a pretty fine uh, experience uh, for uh, sure, so... So yeah, and of course, uh, I will admit maybe some parts of the uh, story might be a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, chopped up in uh, many ways. Uh, in fact, I do know a certain amount of uh, scenes uh, were, of course, uh, pretty much a little bit putting, uh, pretty much uh, putting uh, out of order, or of course, uh, probably uh, some things that I wish I should have been cut out uh, for the film to uh, make it a little less uh, long uh, for sure, but. But whatever ideas they uh, want to uh, throw into, of course, this one, they actually uh, really did a fine job with, of course, uh, what I've actually uh, seen, and really does capture, of course, uh, what I would expect for a uh, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, movie. So, so yeah, Kofi's uh, maybe a little bit tweaking here and there, but story-wise, I do think uh, this movie actually has uh, put together a pretty good story, uh, nonetheless, so... So, yeah, and, of course, uh, the writing, I uh, have to uh, say... Again, I mean, I will have to say it's not really uh, Oscar-worthy uh, by all means, uh, let alone be actually as great as, of course, uh, the writing uh, from the uh, first uh, two films that we actually uh, got. But I really do admire uh, some uh, really the, of the uh, really nice, uh, unique ideas they actually uh, crafted for, of course, uh, this one to uh, actually make it uh, all the more uh, interesting uh, for uh, sure and yeah, I'll give the uh, film uh, credit for uh, that. It really does uh, do a fine job with, of course, uh, the uh, pretty much of uh, the film's uh, writing, I have to say. Again, could have used a little bit of uh, tweaking here and there, but I do think uh, they uh, really put together a very solid uh, script to actually uh, make this movie work. And, well, it actually uh, did work, but, but not all the way, but still worked uh, pretty good uh, to me, so... And let's not forget to mention the comedy, I have to uh, say, uh, pretty much, I think, with a good amount of uh, jokes and stuff. I guess every once in a while, I did get a good laugh and probably did snicker at a little bit of, of course, uh, some of the uh, jokes in this movie that actually uh, did work. But, but hey, I'm not complaining, uh, nevertheless. I do think uh, it still worked well to uh, me. And, yeah, pretty much, uh, if anything, it's not really... A plus material again, much like uh, with the uh, Kami and stuff, uh, and of course uh, the first uh, two films uh, for uh, sure. But but he is actually uh, really really well done in my opinion. So so yeah, I guess it's pretty much uh, what I can say for of course the story, the writing, and of course the Kami and of course this movie. I mean, sure it could have used a little bit of uh, tweaking here and there, but I say they uh, really did a fine job, and of course uh, working with uh, those. Uh, Aspects of for uh, sure, uh, to which, yeah, pretty much works well in my opinion. So, so yeah, it's pretty much what I can say on that. Well, I guess I'm done with that. Yeah, there we go. So, all right, so uh, now that I've actually got those out of the way, I think I might as well go ahead and talk about the next couple of themes, and of course, this movie. And that being for starters is, of course, the characters. And, and yeah, if there's one thing I actually really do admiring, of course, this movie is that, well, I guess compared to, of course, uh, the first two films, I see the characters in, of course, this movie, 
Yeah, I really uh, love the way on uh, how much uh, they've actually uh, grown a whole lot uh, for, of course, uh, this uh, movie for uh, sure. Practically their time in the MCU has uh, really, really uh, caught up to them uh, really well. And I do love, uh, of course, uh, on the way they've actually uh, wanted to, of course, uh, flow all this uh, alga just to... Uh, ease things uh, down a bit uh, before their uh, next big uh, venture that they, uh, that they have to uh, pursue uh, for uh, sure, so. So yeah, I guess uh, either way, uh, given to all that, I still think uh, that uh, still makes them uh, likable and interesting characters uh, for sure. I really do love the, the amount of uh, growth uh, they've actually uh, gotten uh, into themselves uh, compared to uh, the last several times we've actually uh, seen them uh, for sure. Uh, but also, uh, of course, uh, pretty much uh, still capturing, uh, of course, uh, their personalities and stuff, which, yeah, actually makes it uh, all the more uh, impressive for uh, sure. Like, yeah, like, of course, I still always root for, of course, uh, the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, themselves uh, for, of course, uh, whatever they need to attack, uh, take on uh, for uh, sure. They're definitely a whole lot of fun to watch. Although, I think I will say uh, the villain in, of course, this movie, I'm not going to say uh, which one. I will have to admit, is surprisingly a little bit underwhelming in my opinion. Like, I was expecting more, uh, like, of course, uh, what the uh, second uh, Guardians of the Galaxy film uh, have actually teased, but, but, honestly, we actually got very little of that, and I was very disappointed for, of course, uh, not uh, doing all of that for sure, but, but hey, I'm sure uh, the movie did everything they uh, could to actually make things up uh, for it, uh, which, yeah, is actually uh, fine, I will have to uh, say so. So, yeah, I guess it's pretty much all I can say for, of course, uh, that uh, front uh, for uh, sure, so. So, yeah, and of course, uh, pretty much of anything, all the actors that uh, played all these characters, which uh, I will have to uh, say next. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I actually do think they pulled off some really, really good performances, I uh, have to uh, say. Everything from, of course, uh, pretty much uh, the uh, really love, uh, really admire uh, cockiness uh, that is uh, given to, of course, uh, Chris Pratt as Star Lord, and of course uh, the uh, pretty much uh, the uh, stubborn uh, nature that we got from uh, Zoe Zeldana as, of course, uh, Gamora, as well as, of course, uh, Karen uh, Gilling as, of course, uh, yeah. I kind of forgot her uh, name, but still, Carrie, uh, uh, Karen Gilling is actually uh, pretty much uh, still has that uh, pretty much a si uh, similar uh, stubborn personality that uh, Zoe Zeldaga as uh, Gamora has actually uh, given. And of course, uh, if anything, uh, that's to name a few, though. I am definitely one of those people who still admire uh, Vin Diesel as Groot. I mean, seriously, how could you not love uh, Vin Diesel's uh, delivery of, of course, I am Groot. So yeah, can't uh, resist that. I got hands down. So, so yeah, again, I think uh, with uh, with what I have to uh, say, pretty much of anything, the acting in this movie is actually pretty good in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, not great as uh, some performances. I uh, have to uh, say is of course a bit off in uh, some areas, but. But I think they uh, did a fine job, but never the less for sure. So. So yeah, that's pretty much all I can say for, of course, uh, the uh, characters and the actors in, of course, this um, movie. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, they could have been a little bit better than what I was expecting, given to, of course, my initial thoughts on them. But I still, uh, but I still think uh, they uh, are pretty well done, nevertheless. So, so yeah, that's pretty much what I can say on that. All right. Alright, so uh, now that I've actually uh, got those out of the way, what else is there for me to uh, talk about for, of course, this uh, movie? Actually, a whole lot of, for sure, uh, I guess uh, for starters, uh, the visuals and the effects in this movie is actually brilliantly uh, well done, I uh, will have to uh, say. Uh, they really, really uh, capture, uh, of course, uh, what I've actually seen. Everything from, of course, uh, the way uh, they actually uh, showcase... Uh, Pretty much uh, the scenery and the uh, sets uh, for, of course, this movie is uh, brilliantly uh, well done. To even some of the uh, CGI work uh, to uh, to inhabit uh, this uh, world, uh, and even some of the uh, pretty much uh, the uh, pretty much uh, the uh, different life forms. Uh, and yes, I did say life forms because uh, it's a mixture of, of course, uh, humans and aliens. Uh, kind of. Uh, 
pretty much uh, like forms they uh, have to uh, pursue because, well, what else can you do for a movie called Guardians of the Galaxy? So, so yeah, everything from, of course, uh, all those aspects, uh, hands down, is, of course, really, really amazing. And you really do feel like uh, you actually are in the, uh, pretty much uh, are in these worlds that our characters are in. And you really do feel like uh, these uh, creatures and stuff are alive uh, for uh, sure, so... So yeah, I guess it's uh, pretty much what I can say. The visuals and the effects in this uh, movie is still brilliantly uh, well done uh, for uh, sure. And I really do uh, love the way they've actually uh, turned out uh, for sure. So so yeah, and of course let's not forget to mention the music and the uh, sound mixing. Which, yeah, I'm not going to lie, is of course one major aspect that I really do love. And of course uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy movies uh, by far. Yeah, they really uh, kept it as it is for, of course, this movie, and yeah, really does uh, make it a really, really uh, incredible, uh, pretty much incredible movie to listen to in terms of, of course, its music and sound. I think they really worked that uh, well uh, for sure, and I love the way they've actually uh, crafted that uh, to the advantage of for sure, uh, which does help uh, the, make this uh, movie actually uh, work uh, to me, so... So, yeah. I guess it's what I can say for, of course, uh, that got front uh, for sure. And let's not forget to mention uh, the direct, uh, pretty much of anything, uh, the uh, action scenes I have to uh, say is, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, is of course brilliantly uh, well done, I have to uh, say. I mean, I mean, granted, uh, some uh, action uh, is, of course, a little big uh, off in some areas than I expected, but it's still actually brilliantly uh, well done uh, from a wife actually singing. Actually does uh, try its best to actually uh, make it all the more exciting, which, yeah, is, of course, why we expect uh, for, of course, uh, this uh, movie. And I say they did a pretty fine job on that. Not great, but, but still fine, nevertheless, so... So yeah, and of course, uh, the direction of this movie by, of course, uh, the film's director, James Gunn, is still uh, exactly uh, why I uh, want it to be. It's still brilliantly uh, well done, and yeah, James Gunn actually uh, still did a fine job, and of course, what he uh, needs to uh, do for, of course, uh, this uh, movie, uh, for uh, sure, in terms of uh, its direction, and mwah, still perfect, uh, nevertheless, and I really do admire that, uh, for uh, sure, as so. hell. So yeah, and of course, uh, the cinematography in this uh, movie, I will admit, it is fine. I mean, uh, there are some uh, camera shots uh, that uh, are, again, massively off than uh, what I was expecting, but, but the rest, I have to say, is still fine, uh, never the uh, lesson. Not really anything uh, that uh, grand or spectacular uh, to me, so... So yeah, that's pretty much all I can say for, of course, uh, that uh, front uh, for uh, sure. And of course, uh, on top of all of the hang, uh, the uh, aim, I have to say, is still cut up uh, fine, but but again, I think uh, there are a few parts again, I just kind of thought we were a little bit uh, choppy in some areas, but but hey, I still think it. Uh, this movie is, of course, uh, cut up fine, uh, in my opinion, so so yeah, I think it's pretty much all I can see on that front, so... So yeah, I guess it's everything that I can say on, of course, on that front, but most importantly, I say it really still captures on, of course, what I really want for a uh, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, movie for uh, sure, which, yeah, actually uh, does make it a pretty, uh, pretty much a uh, pretty fun experience uh, for uh, sure, so, so yeah, I pretty much uh, was expecting uh, something a little bit more grand uh, for uh, sure, but... But hey, I guess it's still uh, what we expect for a uh, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, movie uh, in its entirety uh, for uh, sure, so. So yeah, I guess it's pretty much uh, what I can see on, of course, that front. Alright. Alright, so I guess uh, overall, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 may not probably be uh, the best movie I've actually uh, seen overall uh, for, of course, this year, but but pretty much uh, as the uh, long way third installment to, of course, these films, it is actually a really, really good finale uh, to, of course, uh, this uh, epic uh, superhero team in the MCU by far, so... So, yeah, I mean, I will admit, some parts of it I just uh, kind of thought uh, would be a little bit better than uh, what I was uh, hoping for, for uh, sure, but I still think they did, uh, they really did a fine job with, of course, uh, what they've actually uh, done, uh, for uh, sure, and, 
Yeah, pretty much of anything, uh, I say it is a really, really good, uh, send-off, uh, to, of course, uh, this, uh, dynamic, uh, team, uh, for, uh, sure, so, so, yeah, probably being, uh, probably been a long time coming, up uh, for, uh, sure, but I say it really does deliver, uh, of course, uh, what, uh, this, uh, movie has to, uh, offer, and I'm really quite glad that I, uh, got the, uh, chance to, of course, uh, see this one, for, uh, sure, so, so, yeah, again, I don't think it's actually one of the, uh, best films I've actually, uh, seen by far, but it is actually a really good finale, nevertheless, so, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, it is sad to, uh, say goodbye to, of course, uh, the entire Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, team for, uh, sure, but for now, I think it's for the best, uh, for, uh, sure, so, so, yeah, but I guess, uh, by all means, I still recommend this, uh, movie for, uh, what it is, and I really do, uh, think it's actually well worth, uh, checking out for, uh, sure, so, so, yeah. If you actually got the time and actually uh, want to spend uh, two and a half hours of your uh, time, I say definitely uh, check this uh, movie out uh, for uh, sure. So, so yeah, it's not really as uh, great as, of course, uh, the first two films, uh, hands down. In fact, I'll still always uh, prefer the first two films anyways. But it is actually a really, really good one that's definitely worth checking out. So, so yeah. And, of course, for my final score... I'm definitely uh, proud to say that I'm going to give this movie an 8 out of 10 as my final score. So, so yeah, definitely not one of the uh, best films I've actually uh, seen for sure. But it is highly entertaining and it is actually a really good send-off to, of course, uh, this uh, incredible superhero team from, of course, well, multiple galaxies uh, for uh, sure as so. hell. So yeah, like I said, it is sad that uh, we have to say goodbye to, of course, uh, this uh, team uh, for a sure, but for now, I think it's for the best. So so hopefully, maybe within a matter of time, we might be able to see one of them uh, come back uh, for, of course, uh, another uh, movie for a sure, but we shall have to uh, wait and see on uh, when the uh, time is right uh, for, of course, uh, exactly uh, that uh, for a sure. So, so yeah, may only be a matter of time, but... But hey, I do think this third film is, of course, a really good way to, of course, uh, pretty much uh, give uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy a massively solid farewell uh, for a sure. So, so yeah, I guess about uh, anything, I still recommend it, uh, never the less. So, so yeah, if you got the time and actually want to spend a couple of, her, uh, of your hours, then, well, get yourself uh, blasting off to, of course, a different galaxy to see this movie for yourself. So... So yeah, that's pretty much what I can say on, of course, that front. Alright. Alright, and of course, on that thought, that will pretty much uh, do exactly that. So, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, latest uh, Thoughts video. And uh, by all means, I must ask, what did you think of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 if you got the uh, chance to see it? Do you uh, absolutely enjoy it and think it's actually a really good send-off? Or... Do you think uh, you absolutely hate it and actually uh, pretty much uh, ended this, uh, pretty much uh, these uh, movies off with the uh, sizzle instead of a bang? Or are you somewhere in between where you actually think it's okay by all means? Yeah, let me know in the comment section below on uh, what you thought of this movie if you have actually seen it. I would definitely love to know, so... So yeah, I guess it's pretty much why I can say, uh, of course, uh, that front uh, for uh, sure, so... So yeah, now that I've actually uh, got that out of the way, I'll be quite curious to see on what the MCU will actually uh, have to offer uh, next uh, for a sure. I mean, it'll uh, only be a matter of time before uh, something uh, will actually pop up for a sure, but but we shall have to uh, wait and see, uh, of course, uh, that front uh, for a sure, so. So yeah, but I guess until then, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Hey guys, this is AthleteTac4427 here. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Feel free to like, comment, and share if you enjoy what you're seeing. If you like what you see here and want to see more videos coming up, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and switch on the notification bell to get notifications and select all notifications to be notified for when we post a new video. And don't forget to switch on notifications on your phone as well.
Also, don't forget to check out my second channel and our two member channel with Sam the Thomas Man 1, Sam Attack 4427 The Thomas Man 1 Productions for plenty more content you can't find on here. You can check both of our channels out with the links or by our handles provided on screen. Feel free to shoot me an email with my email address provided, beackley95 at hotmail.com if you want to ask me a question, want to collab with me for a project you've got in the works, or if you want to book me to be featured for a convention coming up. Follow me on my social media pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to keep up to date with me on updates, announcements, and new releases of my videos, as well as plenty of others I've got with my handles provided, as well as the links down in the description box below. Also, don't forget to follow me on TikTok for other videos I've got aside from the ones I've posted on YouTube, and on Twitch for any future live streams I've got coming up soon as well as joining our official Discord server to see what we've provided. If you wish to show your support to me, then feel free to check out my Patreon to get sneak peeks of my videos coming up before they go up online, as well as gain access to updates and play more in addition to gain some awesome rewards within your budget. Also, don't forget to check out and show in support to me on both of my wishlists on Amazon and Right Stuff Anime, and even supporting me with my link on Streamlabs that you can find on my Twitch page. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll be sure to see you in the next video. Take care.